Rainy weather contributes to more traffic accidents than usual. Now, as heavy rain is still in the forecast, here are a few safety reminders. Now, to prevent your car from hydroplaning, keep your speed at manageable levels when it rains. And again, keep your distance from other vehicles ahead of you so you don't have to brake suddenly. Hello, I'm Michelle Park here with the latest weather update. Now, we're expecting more monsoon rain in the western provinces starting tonight. The rain will move towards the northern provinces by tomorrow. And meanwhile, the island of Jeju will remain under cloudy skies. And some regions could receive as much as 70 millimeters of rain per hour. The upper half of the country is expected to receive the most amount of precipitation this time, and especially the southern areas of Gyeonggi-do and also Gangwon-do provinces, with some 400 millimeters of precipitation or even more expected to fall throughout the weekend. And meanwhile, Seoul will see between 100 and 20, 250 millimeters of precipitation until the weekend. Now, temperatures won't drop significantly during the night, with most of the nation waking up to at least 24 degrees Celsius. And as for the daily highs, Seoul will reach up to 29 degrees, while Daegu and Gyeongju remain steamy hot. And during the rain, uh, the temperatures won't be able to rise significantly, which will drag daily highs a couple of notches down and keep the tropical nights off the weather forecast, at least for now. I'll leave you with the weather conditions around the world.